Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. We need a standard guitar and standard tuning. This is a rock song by the rock band Nirvana. It's called Smells Like Teen Spirit and we are going to play it now. We need to start with the introduction, which is made up of power chords. Put your pointer finger on the first fret of the top string, ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Now, this is a power chord. You also, you could take your pinky, you could put it on the third fret, on the third string from the top. This is also a power chord. It would sound pretty much right. But we're going to play this intro the authentic Kurt Cobain way, which means you just use your pointer finger and your ring finger. Pointer finger, it's on that first fret on the top string. Like I said, put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, like I said. But then, with your ring finger, you're just gonna smush it down like that. So you're also pushing on the third string from the top. So now we've got first fret on the top string, we've got third fret on the second string from the top, and we have third fret on the third string from the top. Now, uh, your pointer finger, it's not a bar chord. We're not like pushing down on all the strings, but your pointer finger is gonna touch these bottom few strings to mute them. Now another thing that I should say is a ring finger Ring finger doing this smush down Kurt Cobain power chord method, it's not always the most precise. Sometimes you might accidentally push on the third string from the bottom and get that note a little bit. So sometimes you'll get the totally regular power chord sound, but s sometimes that note's gonna sneak in there and you're gonna get that sound. That's kind of the, the magic of the whole Kurt Cobain grungy style of playing power chords on this chord. This is an F power chord, by the way, an F5 chord. What you're gonna do is you're gonna strum down, up, down. So it's ba, ba, da. Do it with me. One, two, here we go. Ba, ba, da. One more time and ba, ba, da. Great. Then you're just gonna mute the strings. The way you mute the strings is you just loosen your grip so that you're touching all the strings but not pushing. It sounds like that. And then you're gonna go down, up, down, up. So it's down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So play that with me, play it with me one more time. One, two, here we go. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Great job. Then we switch to the second power chord, which is a B flat power chord, a B flat five chord. I think I'm allergic to chocolate. I forgot I had this secret stash of dark chocolate and I had like four bites of it. And now I'm all, I feel allergic, guys. The B flat power chord, you take that F power chord we did and you just move all your fingers one string over. So now pointer fingers on the first fret of the second string from the top, ring finger is on the third fret of the third string from the top. Your ring finger is gonna smash down onto the third fret of the next string. Make sure your pointer finger is muting the bottom couple strings, but also you wanna get the tip of your pointer finger to mute that top string as well. So it's like muted, first fret, third fret, third fret, muted, muted. On this chord, let's see, what rhythm do we do here? We got, we're just gonna strum down twice on this chord. And then you're going to strum the open strings like that. So we've got, Beautiful, it sounds so good. Guys, can we play that together? We're halfway through the intro. One, two, three, four! Can we do it one more time? One, two, three, four! At this point, we go to the second half of the intro, which is another power chord. You're gonna put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the top string ring finger on the sixth fret of the next string, and once again, smash your ring finger down. Let me get a good view of, so, you see what I'm doing there? My finger's at this, this is awful. My finger's at this angle like that. This, this little smash down your ring finger thing, guys, it's gonna suck at first. It's, it makes your ring finger uncomfortable, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's gonna be, you're gonna love it. You just gotta put in maybe a, maybe a couple weeks of doing it like a lot and then it's gonna be great. It's gonna, it might feel like your ring finger is gonna fall off for a little while, not literally. You know what I mean, it's just a figure of expression. On this chord, we're gonna do the exact same rhythm we did on the first chord. We're gonna go down, up, down, and then mute, 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 mute. And then you just move everything 
down a string again like that. So now point her fingers on four of the second string from the top. It is also the tippiest tip of it is muting the top string. See how I'm just like pushing on the second string from the top, but the tip of my finger is just touching the top string. And then sixth fret, sixth fret, and then mute, mute. Strum that twice, and then strum the open strings. Guys, I was hoping, oh, what's going on over here? Oh, this guitar, let's see how noisy this is. Can you hear the noise? What if I go like this? Oh yeah, guys, could you tell that made it way quieter? Let's play, I was hoping, what I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted is I would like you to play this introduction with me twice in a row, but I'll tell you what, we'll do it slowly. One, two, three, four. Over. Oh, I messed up. And that's how you play the intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Yeah, I know. In the actual intro to the song, the first time he plays it, some there's a couple rhythms he does like a little different. He kind of goes like. But then for the rest of the song, he does exactly what we just did. Ba basically what I'm telling you, is sometimes he puts in tiny little variations, but it's all just just play what play what I just taught you. And then as you play that more and more, you will start you will start to add little little touches. What is this? What was that? I'm not I'm look. I literally, I legitimately think I might be allergic to chocolate, but I don't actually like chocolate that much, so it's not that big a deal. So they play the intro, just like we did, with clean tone, twice in a row, and then the rest of the band kicks in, and the distortion kicks in. If, if you have a distortion pedal, you wanna click on the distortion right as you get to the last chord the second time through. So here, I'll show you. We go like, first time. Watch this. Bow, bow, right there, right there. You smash on your distortion. I don't have a distortion pedal. So what I did when I was a kid is I went. <laughs> Which is not, I have to say, it's not nearly as cool when you have to go and walk over to the amp and press a button to make the distortion go on. But you know what? We all, we all do the best that we can with what is given to us in this world. Uh, you ready for a quick little, Stomp box distortion pedal uh, tip. Don't try to click on the distortion between chords. Don't go like, don't try to get, get it in between. Just, just smash it on right as you play the first chord you want distorted. So it's like, distortion right there. Just, it's like, okay, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going like this a bunch of times. That's the intro to the song. Also, guess what? It's also the chorus to the song. So they play the intro twice with clean tone. Did you see how hard I just hit my funny bone on the guitar? I'm doing everything in my power not to burst into tears right now from the pain that I am feeling. I'm just gonna rub it a little bit and then I should be fine. Okay, so they do the intro and they go into the chorus. The chorus without any singing, however. It's the instrumental introductory chorus. They play that like four times, I believe. Maybe it's two, but I'm gonna say four. But the fourth and final time that they play it with all the distortion and everything, when they get to the last chord, instead of going, they go like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Let me show you precisely what I mean. Here's the last time that they play that main riff. So we did it. We did it. I'm really proud of you. We have now we're at the verse. The verse is so easy, guys. It's so easy. It's not even funny. Don't even joke about it. It's very serious. Put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string from the bottom. Do you have to use those two fingers? No, of course not. But I recommend you use it because it's comfortable and that's, and, that, and that's all I have to say about that. You're just gonna play third string from the bottom and then second string from the bottom. Just gonna go bon. Now, if you uh, just the the rhythm is pretty simple. You'll be able to hear it. It's just going.
But just in case you like to count, that's on beat two. It goes like, baga 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, play with me, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that happens while the, while the singing is going on. And by for ball, day, your friends is fun to choose and go the end. Now, that happens several times. Then it's time for the pre-chorus or the pre-chorus to the song, which is when he goes, that what we do there. Do you have those same two notes? And you just go like this. I'm just alternating between those two notes, doing third from the bottom and second from the bottom. Hello, banner, wado, wow, go, rider, That's all there is to it. If you've got like chorus or what did he use? A roto roto vibe? I don't know. He had effects on it, but if you just you don't need the effects. If you just have a distortion, you'll be fine. Guys, you're gonna be fine. Then, uh, so that's the pre-chorus. Then we get into the chorus of the song. The chorus we already learned. It was the... You just do that with distortion again, guys. You do it, in fact, you do it four more times. And he sings all these words. You can sing along if you want. My shoe is so untied. It's driving me crazy. I keep playing with it. I'm just gonna tie it real quick, but I'm just gonna keep talking so that no one even knows. No one is the wiser. Just gonna double knot it to make sure it don't I don't fall into this old trap again. Guys, there. Shoe is tied. What's so, up? Okay, then we have the, I'm gonna call it the post chorus or the interlude. After the chorus, it goes like this. I am ridiculously out of tune. If only I had spent that time tying my shoe. If I, okay. All right, I'm all tuned up with nowhere to go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. This might be the hardest part of the song. Pointer finger, first fret, top string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the top. So it's, it's like the same chord we did at the beginning of the song. I don't know if he does the ring finger smash down thing or not. We're just gonna play the top two strings. Play this power chord once. Then lift up your pointer finger, play it again. Kind of ugly, but that's okay. Then put your pointer finger right back and play it again. So it goes like this. It's like slow, fast, fast. Uh, then take the same power chord and just scooch both fingers up one fret. Now pointer fingers on two, ring fingers on four, and you play. Ba -da. So it's. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, do it with me. One, two. Here we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Great job. Slower. One, two, three, four. Then here's the hard part. We have to go down to the third fret on the third string from the bottom. I don't know what fingers Kurt Cobain used. What I do is I use my middle two fingers. We're gonna bend it. And I don't like bending strings with just one finger. So I have these two middle fingers on that fret. I just go and I play that, that string, that third string from the bottom. And I give it just the teeniest little bend. It's just like the, like the tiniest little bend. That was pretty bad. Let's try it one more time. Play it with me. One, two, very slowly. Ba, 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 ba. Hey. Then you just go right back to this power chord. You do that same thing again. But then instead of going to the second fret, you're gonna go all the way up to the sixth fret. So it's pointer finger on six, ring finger on eight. Strum this twice. Then scooch both fingers one, two frets back. So now you're on four and six and play that twice. That was a lot of stuff we just did, guys. The whole interlude goes like this. Bend. Six, four. You see how that works? Play it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. How about we play it together? Medium slow. One, two. Here we go. And bend. Six, four. And he does that twice. And that's the interlude. 
post-chorus interlude instrumental part. The grungiest part of the song. In my humble opinion, I M H O. I thought that was in my honest opinion for the longest time. And then I learned it was in my humble opinion. Then they go back to the verse. Then they go back to the chorus, and then they go back to the interlude. So basically they repeat everything we just did again. And then finally we get into the solo. Guys, sometimes he plays the solo up here, but normally he played the solo down here. So we're gonna learn it down here. I think I think that's where he's on the recording. I think, I think that's the way we wanna do this. This solo's easy, you're gonna love it. On the second to bottom string, play the first fret. Then go up to the fourth fret. I just use my pointer finger for both those notes. My, did you see me just almost, I just had a little, had a little situation there, guys. So we've got one, four, then reach up to six with your ring finger. So, bum, 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 and then, there it is, I got it. You're gonna go to one on the third string from the bottom. So we've got second string from the bottom, one, four, six, then down to one on the third string from the bottom. Let's play it together. One, two, three, four, hey! One, two, and play it again, and uh! Great! Go back to four on the second string from the bottom, but this time, use your ring finger and your middle finger to play that note. Play it. Then play it again and bend it up. So it's, and then bring it back down. So it's, so I, if you look over here, I'm actually using three fingers to do the bend, guys. If I try to bend with one finger, I always just go like that. And it's a horrible disaster. So that's why I use two, or you know what? Even three fingers. The way you bend, by the way, if you're not used to bending, you just, Push the string against the neck of the guitar as hard as you would if you were just playing a normal note or a normal card card game chord, and you slide it along the fret. Look at that. See, I'm just going pushing and sliding up. Then you come right on back to the second fret on the second string from the bottom, the middle finger. Then pointer finger plays the first fret. Let's see what we got so far for this solo. We've got. One, four, six, one on the third string, four, bend, two, one. Would you please play that with me? We'll do it slow, I promise. One, two, three, four, uh. Get ready. Oh, so good. Okay, after that little two, one, you're just gonna do two, one again. Then on the third string from the bottom, play three, one. So that was two, one, two, one, three, one. Okay. Go back to three on the third string from the bottom. Use your middle two fingers again. What does it mean when we have those two fingers there? That's right, we're about to do a bend. You're gonna play it, play it again, give it a tiny little bend. And then on the same string, third string from the bottom, play one, zero. It's a lot of notes. Let's play the solo from the beginning. One, two, three, four. Uh. 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 That's pretty much the solo. Let's, we, he does that twice in the song. So as soon as he finishes that. He just starts over. Let's see what happens after this. Let's keep it going. Oh, then we go like this. why I had to take my arm all the way down here every single time. All right, so what that was that we just played was on the third string from the bottom, you play a one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Then you play a one, zero, zero. And then three, 
on the third string from the top. Let's do that. Let's do it again. That's just a lot of ones and zeros. We go one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, zero, three on the third string from the top. Let's play the whole solo. Oh, and he does that, he does that whole thing two times. Okay? So we do the first part of the solo twice, then we do the second part of the solo twice. Whole solo all the way through medium speed. Play it with me if you can. One, two, three, four, um. part. Again. Oh, he does it again after that. Look. He does it four times. And then you just hold this last note ad nauseum in ad infinitum forever to infinity and beyond. Um, then what happens is he does the verse again, but in that, this last verse, he doesn't do this. He just leaves it all up to the bass player, Chris Novoselic. And then you do the chorus again a bunch of times, and then you end on that first chord from the song. So that's the whole song. We learned all the parts. Let's do this. Let's play through an abridged version of it. I'm going to do the intro, then I'm going to play the chorus, then I'm going to play the verse, then I'm going to play the pre-chorus. Then I'm going to play the chorus again, then I'm going to play the interlude, then I'm going to play the solo, and then we're going to be done. So I'm chopping out the like repetition of the different parts, okay? Here we go. From the top. You can play with me if you want. I'll do it medium speed. One, two, three, four. Then the big chorus. so many times. I think this is where he starts singing right here. And I forget the next verse so well I guess it pays to rehearse. I messed up the rhythm there because I got very excited because I was doing the Weird Al lyrics. Guys! I, I was supposed to keep going. Oh, then we get to the, chor the pre-chorus. Hello, ba -ba. I'm just, I'm just done, you know? And I said I was gonna be done with this video by 11.15. It's 11.16, so I'm fired and we're done. <laughs>